Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for watching TCM and more of Summer Under the Stars. We're nearing the end of 24 hours of Loretta Young movies. She's been our featured player since early this morning. Up next, from Columbia in 1942, Young stars with Brian Ahern in A Night to Remember. The title can be the source of some confusion. It has been for me. This A Night to Remember is not Remember the Night, the delightful 1940 romantic comedy starring Barbara Stanwyck and Fred McMurray, but that's not even the movie TCM fans are most likely to recall when they hear the title. Though this is A Night to Remember, it's also not that A Night to Remember, meaning the well-regarded 1958 British film about the Titanic disaster. This is an engaging little mystery that certainly holds its own. For those of you who fondly recall Columbia's first film adaptation of the play My Sister Eileen, which was released three months earlier with Rosalind Russell, Janet Blair, and Brian Ahern, you're in for some deja vu. In A Night to Remember, Ahern is back and once again in Greenwich Village. But instead of playing a publisher who's encouraging another writer's creativity, here he's a writer himself, writes mysteries. To boost his creativity, his lovely screwball wife, that's Loretta Young, decides they should rent an apartment with more of an artsy atmosphere. As they quickly learn, their new digs have atmosphere as well as a body in the backyard, inspiring them to team up to try to solve the mystery a la Nick and Nora Charles. This fast-paced whodunit came at the perfect time in Young's career as she was just starting to gain momentum as a working freelance actress with an emphasis on working. Her decision to go rogue by refusing to renew her contract at Fox back in 1939 hadn't exactly made her a darling of Hollywood studio executives who wanted their stars where they could find them, underfoot and under long-term contracts. They considered Young too strong-willed, too independent, and too rebellious initially. One gets the sense Young would have considered all three of those adjectives to be compliments. From 1942. This is a night to remember.